Hello and welcome to this tutorial of enabling the internal registry for external access. So in OpenShift, uh, there is a internal registry that is provided with the platform and typically that's just used internal to the platform to uh, store images before they're deployed throughout your cluster. However, if you want to use it and maybe make it part of a pipeline that you do a build and just push your images directly into OpenShift, uh, you can do that. So in this tutorial, we're gonna show you how to enable it so you can upload and interact with it using either Docker or Podman. I'm just gonna use Docker. And then I'll be able to connect to my internal registry and uh, push images that I will want to use um, there. Okay, so let's get started with that. Uh, the first thing we have to do is uh, there's just one string to enable the uh, the registry. And we're going to set the string to uh, default true. I need to quickly log. Well, I think I'm already logged in. Let's see. Let's see. Get nodes. Yep. All right. So here's the string here. Um, and I've already done it. That's why it says no change. Uh, I'll put it in the description below. I'll also link the documentation so you'll have that. Uh, but what's going to happen is it's going to change the default route. Uh, to allow it to expose to true. And what that's gonna give us is if we come over here to projects and we scroll down to uh, do, do, do image registry, we'll now see a route here that has this very long route name, right? Default, because it's based off of the wildcard, right? So default route, openshift to image registry, apps.openshift.redclock.land, blah, blah, blah. So a really long uh, registry here, which means that this would be our our host name that we would log into. So if you were going to log into this, it would be like, um, you know, uh, Docker login, username, password, uh, and then this um, default dash route dot, I mean, the whole the URL. And you can see how that would be a little tedious because your images that you transfer into that registry would also need to be tagged that name, right? So if we just do a quick example here, we'll say, uh, Docker pull, um, let's see, uh, we'll just do this Minecraft, uh, just as a, just as a test, right? So we've got a pulling down an image now, um, and we will push it into, uh, into our internal registry. But what I want to do first is I want to show you what I'm talking about, about, about this name here. Uh, you can use that, obviously, if you just set it as an environment variable, uh, you can add it into a script, no big deal. It'll just uh, append that very long URL um, to your to your tag, but you'll see that it's kind of a pain. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to create another route and apply my own TLS uh, certificate and key to it so that it, I could have a shorter name, like registry.redcloud.land. And that's, that's so that's what I'm going to create. Uh, but first, I just want to kind of illustrate it. So I'm going to... Um, uh, Go ahead and let's see Docker images. We should see that Minecraft there. Whoops, pardon me. There we go. All right, so then if you wanted to, again, tag it to push into this, I would need to tag it the full thing. So it'd be like um, Docker tag. Um, and then I need this whole, let me grab that name here, whoops. It's not what I want. Uh, I need the route and then the host name. And then it would be like your project, say Minecraft. Well, let's, yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Minecraft, Minecraft is the image name. Uh, uh, Docker. Uh, Images and you'll see this really long. I don't. I don't know anybody who wants to manage that kind of tag name, right? So that's what we're going to create another route, but we're just going to call it um, registry dot redcloud That way, it'll just be a shorter here. All right. So uh, let's do that. So in, in this route section, we'll create a new route and let's say redcloud uh, registry. And I'll put in my host name, registry.redcloud.land. And like I said, I already have certs that I created for my uh, private domain for that. The image registry there, our 5000 port. We're going to secure the route. We're going to say uh, re encrypt. 
uh, sure, redirect, and then here we'll add my certs, my red cloud registry, my red cloud key, and I'm just going to drop in my CA. There we go. Click create. Okay, so now we've got this route, registry dot red cloud dot lan, and then we could just retag that image over here. So um, Docker tag. Okay, so uh, why this says Minecraft, Minecraft, uh, I could, let, let me, uh, I'll just do this. Uh, mind uh, project Minecraft. I don't wanna make that, yeah, that's fine. I, I wouldn't necessarily do this if I was doing it for real. But what I want to emphasize is the fact that this name here will will correspond to a project that we create in OpenShift that this image will be stored inside of, right? So if we say Docker images here, we'll see that this is a little bit better to, to deal with, right? So uh, I'm going to Docker remove this extremely long tag. Oh, do do do. There we go. Clear. I hope you're able to follow along here, Docker images. All right, so now we've got the image that we pulled down uh, from the Docker Hub, and I've got uh, it retagged into registry.redcloud.lan project, blah, 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 right? Okay, so now we need a project. So let's go ahead and we'll create our project over here. And I called it uh, Project Minecraft. Create that. All right, so now we got our project, Project Minecraft. You'll see that there's nothing actually in it. Uh, if we go to, we'll, well, we'll do all that later. All right, so let's go ahead and log into our internal registry. And for this, it's best to, uh, A, I'm gonna use a user. Um, but B, you want to fetch a token for that user, so it's easier to log in uh, with it with a token. Uh, I already have a token for the for my user, um, so I'm just going to log in with that. It would be Docker login uh, username, and then I'm going to skip the password. But then it's registry dot uh, redcloud dot land. And I'm going to copy off screen here. Copy my token. Copy and it'll prompt me for a password. And there we go. We're logged in. All right? Login succeeded. All right, so let's let's go ahead and push that image. Oh, I'm sorry, Docker images. Let's go ahead and push this image into this project. So Docker push. And we're gonna push this image. Oh, uh, yeah, authorization stuff. All right, so that's that's because my user, I, I created this project, my user doesn't have uh, rights to it. So let's go to role bindings, create a role binding, and we'll say Minecraft uh, registry. And then role name would be a registry editor someplace. Yeah, here, registry editor, uh, user, and then my username there, create. Okay, so now we've associated a uh, user um, into that project. Oh, sorry about that. I forgot to, uh, to turn that on. Da, da, da. Man. All right, so now we're, we're back here to the project. <clears throat> all right, so um, sorry for all the click clicking around. All right, so we're back to the project. And uh, all right, so let's now push it again. <clears throat> there we go. So it's pushing the image into the project now that my user account has credentials uh, or a role to uh, actually edit the internal registry for that project space. Okay, great. So now we, uh, you can see that from this latest tag that it associates, uh, it did actually copy it in there. If we refresh this page, you'll see nothing. All right, I mean, nothing has really changed here. Let me refresh it again. 
nothing. All right, so let's let's go ahead and deploy it. Sorry, the screen just got a little weird on me. There we go. All right, so there's nothing you don't see. You just don't see it, right? So there's no there's no real like enterprise way to manage the internal registry. This is just if you needed to to kind of play around with it. Um, all right, so then I would go into workloads and let's just uh, do, do from container image, um, select the stream, and then this is the project. And then you can see it found it, right? Because that's the image that's associated with this project and the tag is latest. So you can have multiple versions here and then select the version you want to use. Uh, runtime icon, that's fine. Uh, actually, let's do, I think I compiled that a long time ago on Ubuntu. Do they have a, probably don't have a, oh, there it is, all right. Ubuntu, Minecraft app, Minecraft, that's fine. This probably won't work because the um, it's not really built for OpenShift, so it doesn't take into account the security. Uh, but we go ahead and create it. There we go. We see it's building. But the, the cool thing here is it's it's actually using the container that you may have built, right? You could have used a Docker file over, over here, built your image, tagged it, pushed it into your local registry, and then come over to OpenShift into the project and then deploy your application. Right, so that's it, it's pretty cool how it uh, how you can how you can interact uh, with the internal registry. So that that's really all there is to it. Again, I'll, I'll put a link to where to enable um, or the string to enable the internal registry for external access, and I'll also put a link in the description below for uh, where to go for the documentation that shows you how to do it. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, as always, please like, subscribe, and share if you find any value to this video at all. Thanks. As a quick little bonus, sorry, I forgot to uh, mention this, that if, uh, remember I said that you can't really see it in the, in the project. Uh, let's go back to the beginning of my project here. And you, you don't actually see it here. I saw the pod failed, right? Because again, it's not designed to, to run with the security that, that OpenShift has. Um, so uh, that, that's fine. But we do have a, a, uh, an image in the registry there. And I, I forgot to mention that you can't actually find it. So um, go to builds and then under image streams. And if you select that under your project name, you'll see uh, your image. And so there's the image stream that it created uh, for, uh, for your image. And here's your tag, Minecraft latest is the image that was pushed uh, into the image stream. So if you pushed another one, so let's say we've got, uh, let's, let's tag that again. Um, Docker tag and then give it that same project name, uh, old Minecraft, or actually we don't need to do that. We just, we can say uh, Minecraft And then Docker push. And I'll just push that. And now we can see here's the uh, the first one, latest, and then our, our version popped into that image stream as well. So I, yeah, I forgot to show you that you can't actually see kind of like the, the, the way that the images are um, uh, st stacked here in the image stream. If you go back to your project then, and we look at the uh, workloads, we can, yeah, we can edit the workload and then select the other tag and apply it. And now it's going to uh, rebuild that uh, application. It's updating it right now. It's gonna rebuild it using the new image so this is uh, interacting with the uh, internal registry. Thanks a lot.